the place where I sit, I am actually on one hand talking to a lot of biotech startup CEOs through the WhatsApp group, which we have. On the other hand, I'm also talking to a lot of job seekers, a lot of people who want to become scientists and professionals in these companies. So basically, I'm talking to both sides of the bridge. Now, at Biotechnica, my aim is to bridge this gap. So while I'm talking to all the CEOs, I'm also talking to all the all of you. And uh, that is where I posted this question a few hours ago in the Bangalore Biotech Startups WhatsApp group. And I asked them, sir, please tell me, please advise me what are the pointers which we should advise the young students, young job seekers and biotech professionals so that they become more employable in the industry. I mentioned that any feedback will be appreciated and I got a lot of replies. So whatever I have got, I'm going to read out that as well as my pointers also. So let me start with the pointers which I personally feel is important. The number one pointer is deep domain expertise. Now, whatever is your domain expertise, it must be in-depth. It must be at a level where you have read research papers, you've done research, you've done a lot of hands-on and you know it end-to-end -end, from the top to the bottom to the latest to the basics everything you know it so that is where um, one of the inputs has come from uh, dr subramaniam vangla he is one of the uh, members of the group and he says that practical hands on skills with independent problem solving approach and that is something which he thinks is very important and he also mentions deep knowledge and ability to connect two unseemingly connected dots and this is where my personal second point comes in, which is creativity and innovation. And that's what he means to say here. When you have deep in-depth knowledge, that is where you can connect two unrelated dots like bioinformatics and CRISPR. So they're not, not related when you connect them. That is where innovation happens. So you need to have creativity as well as innovation to understand, okay, what, how, what if we connect this to this and achieve something which has never been done? So that kind of out of the box approach that's the second point creativity and innovation is the demand of the industry the third one which i believe is very important is developing strong communication skills now many of you think that if i'm able to speak english that's communication right no that is not communication when you combine your english with the right words when you combine the right words with the right emotion and Project your thoughts in a well collated manner. That is communication skills. In fact, I have created several courses on communication skills for several brands. One of it I have created for Biotechnica. If you want, um, you can check that out in the description. That will definitely help you. So that's the third point which you have is strong communication skills. Now, the fourth point which I have for you is very strong analytical skills, D data analysis skills, data ana interpretation skills, because when you're working in the industry setup, okay it is bound to uh, have some data which you have to analyze. So in the meanwhile, he, Subramaniam, Dr. Subramaniam again says that a good listening and comprehension skills is also very much needed. So you should be ready to listen to the data which others are giving and comprehend it and analyze it in a better way. So basically you have to be the supercomputer of your industry, your domain, your field, and that's what industry expects from you, right? Next. Which again, even I agree to that and um, so uh, even he has replied here. So that's the fifth point, teamwork and collaboration, right? You need to have a lot of team skills. See, alone you cannot achieve anything. Even you are a product of teamwork, your teachers, your parents, your society around you. That's what made you what you are today, right? The same way, any product in the future which you will create needs a lot of people to be a part of the team. For example, right now I'm talking to you. Do you think it's only me who is doing that? Somebody is giving me the points in WhatsApp, which is all the biotech startup CEOs, and of course my own points. And then there is a camera person who is listening. Then there will be a person who will edit this video and remove all the unwanted part. And then somebody will upload it on YouTube, write, put the right title, and that's how this particular video you're watching. The same way, anything which you want to create, you need a team. So you must have team skills, teamwork, right? So you, you have to collaborate, right? 
whether it is within your lab, whether it is uh, any other lab or with, whether it is cross-border. Maybe you are collaborating with someone sitting in Germany and you're doing it online. So you are in your lab, he's in his lab and you do the cross-collaboration. So it's possible, right? So you need a lot of communication skills. You need to have a lot of teamwork and people skills and collaboration skills, right? The next point which I have for you and of course um, other CEOs also agree to is adaptability and flexibility. Now, you have to adapt to the situation. There could be a case where the uh, desired chemical is not there or the desired uh, ideal situation is not there, the desired funding is not there, the desired uh, conditions are not there. But still, industry expects you to do some jugad and achieve the desired results. So that is where you need to be adaptable, you need to be flexible and of course you have to be ethical and honest. So that's something which uh, every industry requires. But now I, I'll read out exact lines which I have received from the CEOs of this biotech, uh, Bangalore Biotech Startup Group. And they say that Dr. Raja C. Mugasimangalam, uh, he is one of the CEOs in the, uh, one of the biotech company. He's mentioning that one of the important thing is identifying one's inborn talent, just like Sachin Tendulkar, and building the right skill set on the top of it so that you are readily employable in the job market. So you have to amplify your inborn talent while developing common sense skills to improve your employability. So biotech CEOs feel that common sense is very important and which is very uncommon nowadays. So you have to develop a lot of common sense. That's what he mentioned Sachin Tendulkar. So Sachin had an inborn talent. So what's your inborn talent you have to find out. Another uh, comment, comment which I have received from uh, one of the CEOs, he says that uh, so uh, imparting the right skills to the student community is very important and he says that um, at biotech, in the biotech industry, human resources is a big challenge they face and they want to solve it. And that is why I have they have shared all these pointers to you all. I'm going to meet all of them on 14th of April. So uh, I'll try to interact more with all of them and bring some video bites for all of you, hopefully, if they agree. But for now, these are the pointers which I wanted to share with all of you. Remember, biotech industry is also facing a problem. Just like you are facing a problem not getting a job, they are facing a problem that they're not getting the right person, right? Now, unless you reach out, unless you network, unless you make yourself visible to them, they will not hire you, right? So how do you make, make sure that happens? You have to have all these pointers which I just shared and reverse engineer it inside you, right? And once you've done that, do massive networking, do massive personal branding and you will see somebody reaching out to you and giving you that, you that job. It's very simple. Add the skill set and then network. Do some personal branding achieve success, then write to me that you are successful. And hey, whether you are successful or not doesn't matter. I will always be there for you. So just write to me. You can comment below or email me at shaker at biotechnica.org. I firmly believe that every student listening to this video is employable. All we need to do is add the right skill set. The right mentor has to do that. So all you have to do is reach out to the right mentor. It can be probably me and we will win together. All the best. Keep rocking.